Hi, my name is Abdul Rahman from Maple Systems and I'll be going over the data transfer ladder logic instructions. Let's scroll over to an empty subroutine in the ladder logic tab and see what the instructions look like. Under the data transfer tab, the first item in the list is a move word. Let's place this instruction on the screen. Observe that the left operand or operand A signifies the source of the transfer whereas the right operand or operand B signifies the destination of the transfer. This latter instruction will only execute when the input line is energized meaning there is some sort of coil that is turned on here. When the instruction is executed the output line is energized so if you place a coil in the output line that coil will turn on. Let's observe this slider instruction by scrolling to screen A. When the button underneath the D110 data register is pressed the corresponding coil is turned on. When it is released the coil is turned off. When the coil is turned on, the move word ladder instruction will be executed. The block copies the source register D110 and moves it to the destination register D111. Similarly, the move D word ladder instruction works the same way, except that the operand address must be 4 bytes long instead of 2. You can choose a register to be 4 bytes when creating a new tag. Let's scroll to the ladder logic instruction and see what's going on there. In the first rung, when the corresponding coil is turned on, the move word instruction executes and the value is moved from register A to register B. The same applies to all other rungs. Observe that the last two rungs have the move D word ladder logic instruction in which it requires a 4 byte register rather than a 2 byte. Let's observe this project on the HMC. First, we must choose a value for the D110 register. Once we have chosen a value, to execute the move word ladder instruction, we must turn on a particular coil, the coil being this button here. When the coil is turned on by the press of a button, the value in register D110 moves to register D111. Surely enough, it does as expected. The same is true for the D word register in the example below. First, we must choose a value to move. Once we have chosen a value, we must turn on a particular coil to execute the ladder logic instruction, which is the D word. When we hit the button here, the value in register D120 will move to D122.